You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nery here from Drake Queen Gaming. It's sitting now on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Mo of uh, Morinatsu Homecoming. So yeah, before we jump into it, let's go ahead, uh, uh bah, I'm scatterbrained right now. Before we jump into it, just want to let y'all know our Patreon is out for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. <coughs> Alrighty. Then there's his asthma. Oh, yeah. Memories of a little black cat coughing half to death in the back of the classroom passed through my mind. Poor kid stood out in more ways than one, huh? I guess I can understand why he'd be so sensitive about people pointing it out. I, I wish I could actually talk to him. He shuts down around me every time. I'm sure I'd have an easier time if I just had a bottle of sake or two. You two don't get along anymore? It's not that. I just can't carry on a conversation with him. I wish you'd give me a little more to work with. Hmm. Thinking about it, they don't really have much in common. Tatsuki's incredibly extroverted, whereas Shin... Bah, never mind. There's no use dwelling on it. Since you're here, wanna buy something? I'll treat you. Huh, is that okay? Sure, pick out whatever you want. Yay! Oh, Tetsuki, you don't know what you've gotten yourself into. In that case, I'll take this, and this, and this. <clears throat> what? Hey now, don't spoil your dinner. It's fine, sweet stuff goes into a different stomach for foxes. Ha <laughs> ha, you're such a liar. That's totally something Konosuke would say. I smile as I add more things to a hand basket for Tetsuki to pay for. Thanks, Tetsuki. My wallet lives to breathe another day. Nope. Oh, well, what? Where'd the shirt come from? <laughs> Tetsuki and his amazing, amazing materializing shirt. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I am jolted awake by the sound of earthquakes and thunderstorms. Blah! I don't want to die! Looking around me, I see everything exactly the way I left it. Huh! Just a nightmare. I flop back onto my bed. It's weird, I used to live in this town. But lately, I've been having a hard time sleeping. Perhaps it's the stress of everything? It isn't very often I sleep somewhere that isn't my bed in Osaka. The sound reverberates throughout the room once again. Ah! What the hell? I stand up to investigate the source. Aha! Tapping against my window, there's a huge cicada that's trying to get inside. What the fuck? These things scare the crap out of me, but right now I'm pretty pissed. I quickly open the window and swat it away. Get out of here! Hiya! It flies away as if nothing happened. Booyah! I strike a victory pose. In your face, nature! You may try, you may try, but killing Nishimura the Magnificent is gonna take more work than that! Second, y'all. Water time. <sighs> Alright. With a smile on my face, I return to bed. It's no use. The damage is done. I can't go back to sleep after that. Ah. I carefully slip into the hall, trying not to make too much noise. Just gonna head for the bathroom, man. Well, well! Look who decided to join us this morning. Yep. Hiroyuki, is that you? With a face flushed red, I walk into the living room to greet my grandparents. Good morning, Grandma and Grandpa. What has you up this early? Figured all the excitement would tire you out. It's 5.30, dear. I'm just about to start cooking, breakf cooking breakfast. I couldn't sleep. A cicada ran into my window and woke me up. I see. Well, I remember when I was your age. Grandpa scratches under his scraggly beard. There were so many girls wanting me, I hardly had time for myself, let alone sleep. <laughs> Grandma shoots him a death glare. I just shrug my shoulders. <clears throat> Regardless, it's rare for a kid your age to be up this early. Leave the boy alone. I'm sure Hiroyuki has plenty on his mind. Grandma gets up from her seat and walks into the kitchen. Do you need any help? No, no. I have everything I need already prepared. Oh. I lean against the wall. I can't sleep, but I don't want to sit around bored until food's ready. 
You should take a walk, Hiroyuki. Grandpa winks at me. Nothing wrong with a little exercise, you hear? I roll my eyes. You just want me out of the house, don't you? Cut! how disrespectful. I'm taken aback by his response. Sorry. You're right, I guess it's better than sitting around doing nothing. That's what I thought I heard. He sinks back down into his chair with a satisfied smile on his face. <sighs> like father, like son. Whatever, I could use the time to think. After visiting the bathroom, I return to my bedroom and get dressed for my early morning walk. The sun is barely rising, leaving everything I see framed by a gentle light. Traveling along these old country roads from my childhood, I feel something in the pit of my stomach. Is it nostalgia? I mean, I guess it could be. It hardly seems right to describe this one, though, since I've been feeling nostalgia my whole time here. No. Perhaps it's regret. Seeing how everything's changed while I've been gone. How life seems to move on whether or not you're there to see it. Oh. I finally understand. Usually someone would say the realization hits them like a truck, but for me... It's just there. Second, y'all. Water time. And we are back, y'all. Okay. A low, mournful pang of despair that I've tried to ignore for so long. I thought I'd be able to get over it now that I'm back in Minnesota, but even now I can see that it was just a fairy tale. No. This feeling I have? I guess I'd call it loneliness. <sighs> I breathe out a long sigh while kicking a rock along the road with me. At least the temperature is cooler this morning, uh, cooler this morning than it's been during the last few days. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm catching a slight breeze right now. If it wasn't for this feeling, I'd probably be quite, it'd probably be quite nice. I turned down a road I rarely went down as a kid. I never really knew anyone who lived there, so I tended to avoid it. Still, I didn't realize how many people still live here. Hmm? Off in the distance, I see someone running in this direction. They seem to be throwing things at doors as they run by. I have no idea what they're doing. It's too early for most people to be awake, so if they're dangerous, there won't be any many around to help me. What should I do? Me walking. I shake my head. Nah, this is Minnesota. The most dangerous thing we have here is that river. I'll just keep walking casually. The running footsteps get louder. As the person approaches, I'm finally able to get a good look at them. Huh? Oh my god. Huji? Hero, what are you doing out here? I look off to the side with a slight grin. Glad to see you're not a serial killer. I guess I'm taking a walk. This early? Heh. <laughs> I look back at him and try to be more genuine with my expression. Couldn't sleep. I see. He seems a bit nervous. I wonder why. How are you? It's pretty early, like you said. He glances side to side, seeming to consider his next words carefully. Hmm. Well, no sense hiding it anymore. I took a job at the beginning of the summer running the town's newspaper route. Oh, so those things you're throwing are newspapers. Mm-hmm. He nods in affirmation. That's pretty weird, dude. My grandpa just got finished pointing out how rare it is for someone our age to be up at this time, and yet it seems you got up even earlier than me. Is that so? Yeah, you and I should be you and I should be sleeping in. It's summer vacation, after all. He stares at me for a moment, then. <sighs> hmm. I suppose that's true. You said you weren't able to sleep? Yeah. I can sympathize. I haven't slept well in years. Remember what I said about being a light sleeper yesterday? Oh, yeah. I wasn't kidding around. I see. This job helps keep me helps keep me occupied. Plus, when I run, it keeps me in shape. Heh. <laughs> Sounds like you have this whole insomnia thing figured out. He merely shrugs his shoulders in response. Do you mind if I follow you? I could use something like this to occupy my morning, too. Hmm? Hmm. Are you sure you know what you're getting into, Hiroyuki? Eh? I usually run this route. Are you gonna be able to keep up? He says that with a wink. Thank you know. Water time. Hmm. Lordy knows that apple water is delicious. At least, I, at least what I believe is a wink. I can never tell with Kyoji's eyes. Is that a challenge? I put my fist out in front of me. Bring it on, Kyoji. This is a perfect running temperature. Indeed. He has a big smile on his face. I can't help but smile back. 
And before I have a chance to react, he's already off running down the road. Hey, wait up! Huh. I need to stop! I nearly collapsed to the ground after running with Kyoji. Huh. Huh. It's never good to come to a complete stop, hero. Monitor your breathing and walk slowly. How the hell do you athletes do this? It's all experience. You get used to it. Here, take my hand. Kyoji reaches out to me, probably expecting me to grab on. Ha! <laughs> Control your ego, Hiroyuki. Huff. There you go. Back on your feet. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of you for sticking with me. I know it burns right now, but come tomorrow, you're going to feel like a new, mi a new man. If you say so. It's never a bad thing to exercise. I find it keeps me fresh and focused. Kyoji talking about exercise only brings my attention to how much I let myself go over the years. Ha. Huh. Come on, I have just one last paper to deliver. I follow behind Kyoji a bit more, taking his advice. I slowly breathe in and out, trying to stay in control. Don't overdo it or you'll hyperventilate. Gah! Why does everything have to be so complicated? Kyoji laughs so loud while throwing a newspaper at a familiar door. Wait a sec. That's right. I saved the last newspaper for your grandparents. He stands there looking proud with his hands on his hips. Congratulations, hero. You made it through half my paper route and lived to tell the tale. If I wasn't so dead on my feet, I'd punch you in the shoulder. He clapped his hands together and smiles. Ha! <laughs> Really, though, thanks for keeping me company this morning. This is the first time I've ever had anyone join me on my run. His voice shows true sincerity. Don't mention it. <laughs> With my breath finally in check, I rub behind my head in embarrassment. I should head back. I'm sure Mr. A Mr. Aki is waiting for me to return. Mr. Aki? He's my boss. If you'd like, I can introduce you to him sometime. I don't know why, but the name Aki sounds very familiar to me. I'm sure that'd be fun. Can't imagine meeting someone like that would be particularly exciting, but who knows? So you know, it is water time. Mm. Oh god, that's good water. Okay. Thanks. Thanks again, hero. I'll see you soon. Bye, Kyoji. He slowly walks up the road heading towards town. Huh. There's something in the way he's walking. Yeah, you're watching his ass. Something that makes him me makes me makes him seem almost lonely. I'm home. I place the newspaper I picked up outside on the nearby table. I hear my grandmother call out from the kitchen. Just in time, dear. Breakfast is ready. A thick, warm aroma fills the house. Great! I'm starving. Great! I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos! I finished up the last of my rice before working on the fish. Mmm, you always made the best breakfast, Grandma. Oh, ho, ho, that's why I married her! Once again, Grandma stares at Grandpa with venom in her eyes. Thank you, dear. She carefully plucks a bit of rice with her chopsticks. How is your mother doing? Does she still use my recipes? Careful, boy, you'll feed her ego too much. <laughs> Yeah, she's doing fine. With Dad's job at the investment firm, she's able to take it easier than, than before. When I was a kid, it was pretty rare to see both of my parents at the same time. They had opposing schedules. Dad used to work with a small company in Kazanari before they got swallowed up by a bigger one in Osaka. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to my lovely patrons. Thank you to all of our bronze tier patrons. We appreciate everything that you do for the channel. Your contributions are greatly appreciated, and they are definitely made use of. And thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silvermoon. Thank you so, so much for donating just a little bit more, going a little, a little bit above and beyond. You are awesome. And for our gold tier patron, Amr, thank you so, so, so much for subscribing to the ultimate tier. You are amazing, and you are awesome, and we love you a long time. So, and yeah, so if y'all want to uh, be on my little list at the end of every video, if you want to get a personal shout out from me, please subscribe to the to our uh, Patreon, it's as little as $5. And if you're a gold tier patron, which is $15 a month, you get your own personalized icon made by L. 
Oh god, I almost choked there. Okay. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye!